Introduction From 8th to 18th century, two kinds of structures were built by kings and their officials. 1. Forts, palaces, garden, residences and tombs. 2. Temples, mosques, tanks, wells, caravansaries and bazaars. Merchants also indulged in the construction of temples, mosques and wells. Of these constructions, only huge mansions, Haveli, from the 18th century have survived. Addition of more rooms, doors and windows to the monuments was an architectural development that took place between 7th to 10th century. The trabeat or cobbled architectural style which required the use of a beam across two vertical columns to add rooms etc. was followed earlier. The trabeat style was used from 8th to 13th century to construct temples, mosques, tombs and buildings attached to large step wells, baulis. The first floor of the Qutb Minar was built by Qutbuddin Ebak. The rest of the Minar was completed by Il Tutmish around 1229. A pattern is created by small arches and geometrical designs along with two bands of inscriptions in Arabic. It can be seen under the balcony. Placing inscriptions on the curved and angular surface of the minar must have been possible only by careful precision by extremely skilled craftsperson. Lightning and earthquakes, the onslaughts of nature, damaged it over a period of time. Repair work was carried out by Alauddin Khalji, Muhammad Tughluq, Firuz Shah Tughluq, and Ibrahim Lodi from time to time. 